what is seldom known, and to the credit of this network, was begun to be uh, reported on here on Vanguard in 2006, mm -hmm. was that those uh, Tahrir Square demonstrations started with 50, 60 people just saying, right. know, we want things to be better. Right. So is there, is there in fact some reason for them to believe that this is the root of something? Has the last week and a half suggested that they actually grew something there in that time? You know what, I, th I think so. I mean, I thought about this a lot. Yeah, um, sure. uh, obviously, you know, it's not 100,000 extremely desperate people chewing through brick walls with their teeth. You know, it's 1,000 college students having a sleep in right now. Uh, but the reality is that there's a lot of real anger out there, and, and it's, their movement is growing organically, I think, just because people know that there's something to protest now, and they're, they're coming out, and all these people are distressed, and there is enough real distress and desperation out there that this could transform into a real movement where, where there's enough really angry people to scare people in power. And of all people, you would know that they didn't just pick up something at random like saying, we don't like cobblestone streets downtown, right. that's the cause of every American problem. There is so much wrong with Wall Street, and as you wrote, any movement against Wall Street corruption will have to involve some very elaborate organization. Right. Um, is this something that, that could conceivably grow into that or merely an inspiration for something else that might grow into well, that? Well, I think this, what, what this could do is that it could provide the political support for those, those activists who are trying to change very specific mm -hmm. things about how Wall Street operates. Obviously, this is a crowd that doesn't know a whole lot about how, for instance, the derivatives market works. But there's enough anger out there that people who are trying to reform the derivatives market could point and say, look, there are, there are protests out there. We need to do something because the public won't take it anymore. I don't want to pat everybody on the back here too much, but we were essentially the first people to do this on national television at sure. any length in the context of a news program. And it seems to have been some pickup. But what are people covering and, and you know, is, is the message being... Uh, uh, delivered by the media? Is it being thwarted by the media? Do you have any perception of that? You know, I, I, obviously, I, I covered a lot of Tea Party events in the, right. in, in the early going, and I, you know, it seems like every time there was a, you know, a decent-sized event, there were always live trucks everywhere. And, a you know, loud like, cough. Exactly, exactly. And this one, you know, there's there are a few reporters. There's a, there's a setup there for the media, but it's it's not anywhere near the numbers you know you saw on the other side. You made the reference. I've done it before. You're the expert on it, not me. If those were Tea Party protesters in Wall Street for the last week and a half complaining about welfare, complaining about stimulus packages, demanding the ouster of Ben Bernanke, what kind of coverage would that get, do you think? I think it would get a lot of coverage, but interestingly, there are some Tea Partiers there. I mean, yeah. there, there, are, there, are, there are Ron Paul supporters there in some numbers, and you know they're being ignored, too, so I think that's worth pointing out. Uh, maybe there just aren't enough funny hats. Right. <laughs>